Our next example is even longer. Example 3 has 6 plus 8 above a fraction bar. Below the fraction bar, 3 squared subtract 2. Then subtract in parentheses 5 subtract 8. After the parentheses, divided by 6. Where do we begin? Remember that in the symbols of inclusion, we included the fraction bar. The fraction bar is a symbol of inclusion, and so we must work things above and below the fraction bar as if they were in parentheses. So let's begin with 6 plus 8, which is 14. Below the fraction bar, we have 3 squared, which is 9. For subtract 2, rewrite as add negative 2. Then the subtraction symbol, and within the parentheses 5 subtract 8, we can rewrite as 5 plus negative 8. Copy the divided by 6. So what have we done? We've worked inside this symbol of inclusion, the 6 plus 8, to get 14. We've worked inside the next symbol of inclusion, 3 squared subtract 2, to get 9 add negative 2. And we've worked within the last symbol of inclusion, 5 subtract 8, to get 5 add negative 8. Now let's finish what's in the symbols of inclusion. We have finished what's in the first one. The 14 is it. And the next one we have 9 plus negative 2. 9 plus negative 2 is 7. And in the third one, 5 plus negative 8 is negative 3. And so we get 14 over 7 subtract negative 3 divided by 6. Now we have finished what is in the symbols of inclusion. 14 over 7 means 14 divided by 7, so this is divide. Subtract and divide, which is done first. We do the divisions as we come to them from left to right. 14 divided by 7 is 2. Negative 3 divided by 6 is, careful, negative 3 divided by 6. Many people think off the top of their head, that negative 3 divided by 6 would be negative 2. But notice that this is negative 3 divided by 6. Notice what this is now? Negative 3 divided by 6 is negative 1 half. Uh-oh, we've got a fraction. So we get 2 subtract negative 1 half. Now our single operation is subtract. To subtract a number, we add its opposite. And so, we write 2 add the opposite of negative 1 half, which is positive 1 half. 2 plus 1 half. The 2 has an understood denominator of 1. Adding fractions, we need a common denominator. The common denominator is 2. 2 over 1 converts to 4 over 2. 4 over 2 plus 1 over 2 is 5 over 2. So 5 halves is our answer. If you prefer mixed number form, you can change to 2 and 1 half. In fact, in this problem, there is a bit of a shortcut that we could use if we choose to. When we got 2 plus 1 half, we could say, oh yes, that's a whole number and a proper fraction. And so we could immediately write 2 and 1 half as our answer if we choose to. Let's look at another example.
This one has the appearance of fraction to start with again. We have negative 8 divided by 2 squared times negative 2, all of that over 3, all of that times the expression negative 3 and 1 half. Where do we begin? Notice the only symbol of inclusion expression that we have is actually the fraction bar. The parentheses we have around the negative 2 tell us to multiply. The parentheses around the negative 3 and 1 half keep the negative 3 and 1 half separate from the multiplication symbol preceding. And so the only symbol of inclusion we have is the fraction bar. That means we work above the fraction bar first. In that expression we have divide, exponent, and multiply which is done first. The exponent. So we do 2 squared, which is 4. And while we're at it, let's change the negative 3 and 1 half to an improper fraction, negative 7 halves, to have it ready to work with. In multiplying, we must convert mixed numbers into improper fractions in order to work with them. And so, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7, negative 7 halves is that improper fraction form for negative 3 and 1 half. Now, above the fraction bar we have divide and multiply, which is done first. Uh, the divide is done first because divide and multiply have equal importance. They come in the same step and we work them as we come to them from left to right. And so, negative 8 divided by 4, which is negative 2, times negative 2, over 3, times negative 7 halves. The problem is getting cleaner looking. You notice there's a lot less clutter involved. And you should have the, same, the feeling that finishing up this fraction bar expression is going to be quite easy now. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. So we have 4 over 3 times negative 7 over 2. We're multiplying fractions. When you multiply fractions, if any reducing can be done before you multiply, it's smart to do so. Notice that we do have a common factor of 2 in our 4 and 2. 2 divides 4, giving us 2. 2 divides 2, giving us 1. Therefore, our result is 2 times negative 7 over 3 times 1. That is negative 14 over 3. And there's the final answer. If you like mixed number form better, you can divide the 3 into 14 and write the answer as negative 4 and 2 thirds.